I Satish Tiwari welcome you let us discuss marks distribution an important topic topics which covers 40 to 45 marks easily out of 80 for the subject applied mathematics 4 for the branch mechanical engineering of RTMNU Nagpur University examination starting with the unit number 1 numerical methods this is having a weightage of 12 marks unit number 2 numerical methods again it is having a weightage of 14 marks so unit number 1 and 2 both constitute of total 26 marks now moving to the unit number 3 unit number 3 Z transform it is having a weightage of 12 marks unit number 4 special functions and series solution it is having a weightage of 14 marks 1 4 unit number 5th random variables and probability distributions having a weightage of 14 marks and the last unit unit number 6 special probability distribution and random process again it is of 14 marks so probability is having a two units that is unit number 5th and 6th and that comprises of total 28 marks so this is all about the 80 marks of this applied mathematics 4 now we will see the important topic which covers 40 to 45 marks easily from the unit number 1 numerical methods you can do the topic Newton's Rapson method and regular falsi method it is also called as method of false position to solve algebraic and transcendental equations these are very simple methods and formula based method and now with this you have to do the gauss seidel method to solve system of simultaneous equations so if you do these three topics you will definitely get 12 marks in the examination then unit number 2 you have to do the two methods Euler's modified method and Runge Kutta method of fourth order and as well as do one more topic that is largest eigenvalue and eigenvector by iteration method this is the very simple topic finding the eigenvalue and eigenvector so if you do these three topics it is possibility that you may get a question of 14 marks or maybe a question of 7 marks very easily and in the unit number 3 Z transform there is definitely one question is of on difference equation and there are four to uh, there are near about six to seven questions on this topic so you do the do that questions only and you will get a question of six marks from z transform unit number fourth special functions and series solution i will suggest you to do legendus polynomials only here and the two questions that is finding the j1 by 2 of x and j minus 1 by 2 of x because that questions are frequently asked in the examination so that will give you a 6 marks definitely in the examination or 7 marks unit number 5 random variables and probability distributions so in this case you just do how to find mean variance standard deviation moment generating function characteristic function all are formula based only and it is easy to understand and solve and if you do these topics there is a chances that definitely you will get a question of 7 marks or maybe of 14 marks unit number 6 special probability distribution and random process I will suggest you to do binomial and Poisson distribution here and there are only 7 to 8 questions of that topics and as well as I'll suggest you to do the exponential and uniform distribution and for this you just do how to find out the mean variance standard deviation moment generating function and characteristic function that is it is a repetition if you see that we are doing already in the above unit and it is a repetition here of for the exponential and uniform distribution and that's comes under the unit number fifth as well as and of sixth so this is all about the easy topics and if you see that if you count the marks then it is very simple 
that we are getting more than 45 marks if you do this topic that is 12 marks from the unit number 1 numerical methods 7 marks from the unit number 2 12 plus 7 it is 19 unit number 3 z transform 6 marks 19 plus 6 25 special functions 6 marks it is 31 random variables probability distributions unit number 5 you will get 7 marks and that is 7 marks 38 marks and then from this topic again plus 7 added that is total 45 marks so 45 marks are very easy to get from this applied mathematics for subject now let us discuss distribution of either and or part for each unit in the unit number one generally in either part there are two questions from the topic one from the solving the transcendental and algebraic equation and second is from solving the system of linear equations so topics we are having solving the system of uh, algebraic and transcendental equations are Newton's Raphson method and regular falsi method so there is one question on maybe on either or, or of Newton's Raphson method and one question is on other part that is regular falsi method and with that one question is attached of Gauss elimination method, Gauss Jordan method, Gauss serial method and Crowds method. The two important methods are here that is Crowds and Gauss serial method do that two topics and if you do that completely you will get definitely a question of 12 marks in the unit number 1. From unit number 2 there are several topics we are having for solving the differential equation by Taylor series method. Runge Kutta fourth order method, Euler's modified method, Milne's predictor and corrector method and, and solving the simultaneous first order differential equation we have a method Runge Kutta again and one last topic that is largest eigenvalue and eigenvector by iteration method. So if you actually uh, either and or parts are not fixed for this particular unit but generally that largest eigenvalue and eigenvectors comes to the or part and to either part generally we are having a Taylor's and Runge Kutta method and Euler's modified method but it is not fixed it can be jumbled up but if you do the four topics here in this unit you will get the question of 14 marks in either or, or part unit number 3 Z transform here one question in either part of always of properties and one example and in or part definitely a one question of difference equation and then with that one and one questions a question of inverse z transform and examples on z transform is attached so likewise this is distributed for the z transformation unit number three unit number fourth special functions and series solution for this again there is a no criteria that which part will come in the either and which part will come in the all but here there are having a topic uh, of Frobenius method if you are done with all the topics then go for that Frobenius method because it is very lengthy uh, problems are very lengthy to solve uh, and that require near about 30 to 40 minutes to solve one question on Frobenius method so you just uh, take care of that that is if you done with all the topics then go for this and here the easy topics I have already told you that is Legendre's polynomial and Roderick's formula you can go for that so there are again uh, having a topic of generating function orthogonal properties of GNX and PNX but the questions are a uh, uh, little bit lengthy so that's why I will suggest you if you are having a time then go for this unit unit number 5 random variables and probability distributions so in this case there are two types we are having questions on discrete and continuous random variable and again there are uh, two types that is one is on single random variable questions and one is on two random variables question that is on joint distributions and again we have it is a mean variance standard deviation characteristic functions for this so again it is not fixed that which question will come in the either and or but generally the question of discrete and continuous comes to the either part and questions of it is mean 
variants, moment generating functions, characteristic functions that comes to the OR part. And the last unit, unit number sixth, spatial probability distributions and random process. Here I'll suggest you that to do that sixth distribution if possible, geometric, binomial, poison, normal, exponential, uniform and viewable probability distributions. It is seven, sorry. And there is a random process as well. So there is a one question of random process and one question of it is probability distributions and that comprise of one either part and or part. But sometimes a uh, paper setter asks that two probability distributions in either part and as well as in or part uh, with the random process. So it is better to do that special probability distributions because these are the easy topics and you can score the marks. And textbook I will suggest you to refer that BS Greywall textbook for this applied mathematics 4 and it is very easy to get the questions from that book. Thank you.